Hey guys, good day to all of you out there and welcome to our channel. By the way, for first timer here at our channel, after watching the video, please don't forget to subscribe. Last video, I showed you how to make a chicken farce which I then make into a chicken sausage. Although, there is no casing available due to ECQ, but I still managed to do something to make it a sausage. Got it? Today, I will show you guys how to make a cream brown sauce. It is a brown sauce with a cream added. I will use it to prepare a pasta dish. And uh, for my vegetable, I'll be using button mushroom and rat ear mushroom. And uh, for my pasta, I will be using penne rigate. To enhance the flavor, I will be adding pesto. And to make it more healthier, I will add chopped marungay leaves or moringa olifera towards the end. Got it, guys? So, let us start. Now we will make a pasta dish using a cream brown sauce. We'll be using penne rigate here. It's about 200 grams uh, raw weight and 450 grams cooked weight. And then our main meat is a pork, pork slices. And then uh, our vegetables is of course we have our chopped onions. Here is our chopped onions. And then we also have slices of mushroom. And then we also have rat ear mushroom. Okay, and then of course our brown sauce and our cream. Plus, of course, we have some white wine. And later on, to add color, we also have our chopped malungay leaves. Instead of, uh, instead of using parsley, I'm using malungay leaves because it's much more healthy. And then, of course, to season is our salt and pepper. There you are. The right part, the left part is the salt, and the right part is the pepper. The mixture should be one is to two. Got it, guys? So I'll start cooking. Okay, we'll start. First, we have to have a wok. A wok, we we'll preheat it, and then we we'll put some oil. Okay, guys. First, we will have to season our pork with salt and pepper. There you are. And then we just have to mix this. So there you go. Our salt and pepper. And then we will stir fry it in the pan. Okay, our pan is already hot. So we'll have to put the oil. And then we will stir fry our pork. We will sear first the pork. We will have to brown it so that we can uh, trap all the nutrients of the pork. And then uh, since it's brown, it will add color and flavor to our dish when it's, when it's done. Okay. Now it's already brown. We just have to take it out of the, of the wok. There you are, here it is. Now we have to saute the onions until translucent. There you are. You just have to continue sauteing this until it is translucent. Next, we'll add the wine and reduce it to half of its volume. Okay. 
Okay. You have to reduce the wine to half of its volume to do away with uh, a certain taste of the wine. Okay. And then we will add our brown sauce. So there, the brown is there. We we'll just stir it nicely and then we we'll bring it to boil. I use white wine because we will have to add cream. Now, next we will add our meat. Our pork is there. And then our mushrooms. So the both the sliced bottom mushroom and the rat ear mushroom. Okay. So there you are. So we'll just have to just bring it to at least a boil and then we will add our uh, pesto and pasta. Now we will add the pesto. I forgot to show it earlier, but it is here. We'll add about two tablespoons of the pesto. Then we give it a boil again. Now we will add the pasta, our penne, and the cream. And the cream last because for local creams usually when you boil it, it curdles. So when you use local creams, you have to add it on the last minute. Okay. So this is how to use a cream brown sauce in pasta preparation okay so now the cream and then we will finish it the cream is about half cup okay there you are So uh, now it's done and we'll just transfer it into our uh, 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 oval plate and then we will top it with cheese and chopped malungay leaves. Okay, now we'll just have to add the grated cheese on top. There you go. And then, our chopped malungay leaves. So guys, our pasta using cream brown sauce. So let's have a closer look. So the pasta is there, the meat, and of course our mushrooms. So, we're done guys. Okay, I believe I have shown you guys clearly how to use a cream brown sauce in pasta cookery. Well, it is almost the same as in preparing a main dish. The only difference that in the main dish, the size of the meat is a bit bigger. On our next video, I will show you how to use a creamed tomato concasse in pasta cookery. Well, before I forget, for first timers, don't forget to subscribe, 
so you will get notified on the next video uploading. Thank you very much for watching. See you next video. This is Chef Ben Casabon signing off and God bless us all.